Hi guys, I am Hayden and welcome back to my channel, Two Paws Farmhouse. If you are new here, it is where I share everything there is to know about our 1800s farmhouse and I share tips and tricks about turning your house into a home. So today we are in Ryan's playroom, which actually used to be her bedroom. Um, five years ago when I was pregnant for her, we renovated this room from the ground up. We ripped it all the way down to the studs and started from scratch and so it is what you see now. Of course, being five years ago, there have been lots of changes that we need to make in here and because we are now turning it into a playroom, it is the perfect opportunity to do so. So today we are going to be working on the shiplap wall back here, updating it to a new fun color and a fun scallop paint technique along the top. So let's go ahead and get started. For the materials today, I thought I'd go over what we're using before we actually get started on the project. I am actually using the PPG Timeless line. You can pick this up at your local Home Depot. It is supposed to be a one coat coverage, so I thought this would be the perfect test on a white and see how it does. I ended up going with the color Ember Glow, which as you can see on here is a bit of a coral pink. I'm hoping it's going to match this dresser over here, um, but we will find out. It's from their new line. They have so many colors to choose from. I had a really tough time choosing but Ryan really wanted pink, so we compromised and went with this coral color. With the shiplap, I really prefer to use these foam rollers. I use the smaller ones, and then I pick up just a short-handled paintbrush to get in the cracks, and of course to do the scallop top on the trim. And then the other thing I grab is just some plastic sheets from your local hardware store to protect the carpet because I am going to be painting over here. I just lightly line it against the trim and that way if paint splashes down I don't have to try to clean my carpet. So that's really all we're using today and then I'll go over um, what I'm going to be using to do the scallop along the top. It's a household item that almost all of you, actually I hope all of you, are going to have in your kitchen that you can use for this. drying we're going to start on the scallop portion which is going to be up along here. I am just using a typical dinner bowl for this so I'm going to find kind of my halfway point on the bowl and I'm just going to mark it with a little bit of masking tape. Okay, I've marked it about halfway and I'm just going to line it up on the bottom of the shiplap 
with this masking tape and make sure it forms a half circle and it does. And then I'm just going to take a pencil and trace all the way along the shiplap until we have all of our scallops penciled in and then we'll go ahead and paint it with a paintbrush. So there is the first one.